Your book. Oh, this bestseller, and he looks just like me too. Oh, what a handsome devil! Hi, Parker. I heard you're selling school supplies at the library. Can you sell me something? Yeah, we sell lots of things like CDs, folders, posters, earbuds. I mean, here, just take a look at the list. There's a lot. You know I can find some videos for my science project, Parker? Oh, why yes I can. Okay, let me, let me think a minute. Yeah, I have just a thing for you. Discovery Education. Discovery Education is part of our library databases, so you'll need to go to the internet and go to www.tinyurl.com slash lisdbookmarks. You'll need to log in. Once you get to the Bookmarks for Research page, you'll scroll down until you see the Discovery Education icon. Notice it says Obtain Login from Librarian, so you'll need to get that either from your librarian or your teacher. You'll come to a screen that looks like this, and you will put in the ID that your teacher has given you and password. Once you are logged in, you will be doing some searches. Okay, this is the perfect place to come and get a video. Uh, just because a video is out on the internet doesn't mean that you have the right to use that. That's why we have this particular database. It has tons of videos for your use, and we don't have to worry about the copyright provisions because we pay for this service, and therefore we are allowed to use it. And Notice that when you click in the media box, you will see all kinds of information that you can use in projects. You've got clip art, encyclopedia articles, maps, etc. So it's not just for videos. But in this case, we are looking for a video, so we're going to click on Video Segment. We're going to choose Grades 9 through 12. And let's say your science teacher has given you a project to do on genetics. You'll type in the keyword, click Search, and you'll see a list of results. Now, if you put your mouse over a video, it will give you some additional information. Let me tell you what this information means. The CC means that this is a closed caption video. Edit means that you are able to not only use this video as it is, but you are also able to edit it. For example, if it's too long and you need to clip it down, you could do that in Movie Maker. If you hover over another video, you might find that the word edit is missing. That means, according to our licensing agreement with Discovery Education, that you're not able to edit this video in any way. You can use it in its entirety, but you cannot edit the, the video. And let's say that you have looked at it and you've decided that this is something you want to use in your project. You next want to download the video. Notice that all the videos in Discovery Education are divided into segments. Most likely you won't need this entire video, which is 56 minutes but you might want this particular video, which is a clip of 54 seconds. Okay, come over here to the film strip icon and notice when you point to it, it says download, but you don't just click on it. You do a right click and you choose save target as. You'll need to decide where you're going to save this. You should probably put it on your network folder. You also want to give this a meaningful name because right now it doesn't have a very meaningful name. So we'll call this genetics. We also need to change the file extension number or name. Right now it's ASX and we need to change that to WMV. The reason we do that is because more than likely you'll be using this in PowerPoint or Movie Maker or Photo Story 
and those particular programs do not like ASX files. They like WMV files. So keep that in mind as you are downloading these videos. You will need to cite your sources on a project just like you would do on any research paper. Uh, Discovery Education makes that very easy. They have a citation tab for each video. We know that we use MLA in Louisville ISD. So all you do is highlight, push Control C to copy, open your works cited page, or if you're doing a PowerPoint or other presentation, your teacher might have you have you do this on a slide, and you'll just click paste. Now the only problem with this is it's not in the right font, so we'll go up here and change it to Times New Roman size 12 and then you have your citation. The instructions on how to download videos and put them into presentations will be included in the notebook that you'll find in the library next to each computer. My geography teacher told me to use the ABC Clio databases and Maps 101 for my project. I hope you can help me Parker. I heard you're really smart. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's a really good database for geography and other subjects, too. To get to the ABC Clio databases, you'll go to the bookmarks page, and you'll click HHS. You'll scroll down until you see ABC Clio. Notice that it gives you the username as Hebron Hawks and the password as Hebron Hawks. Let's say, for example, we are looking in World Geography. You'll need to make sure you log in. Let's say that your teacher has given you a particular country to study. Here's one way you could do that. We're going to click on countries and then from the list we'll pick the particular country that you have been assigned. If you look over here on the left you'll see several different areas that you can research. Notice that you have a place for maps and flags. Let's say that you've gone in and you have decided that this is a good article for you to use. So you take your notes, you do your research, and then just like in any other research, you want to make sure you cite your source. So you'll click Cite This Document. Here's the MLA format, which is what we use in Louisville ISD. Highlight it. Control C to copy. Open your Works Cited page click paste. You'll need to do some additional formatting here so you will highlight, change the font to Times New Roman, size 12. Over under paragraph you're going to click your down arrow. You'll choose hanging indent which makes the second line indent. You'll change, you'll choose double spacing, click OK and there is your citation. Maps 101 is on the same page as the ABC Clio databases. You'll just scroll down until you see that link. The username and password are given here. Just click the link. You may or may not be asked to log in. Over on the left side of your screen you'll see different categories of maps that you have access to. If you want to search for a particular country like Africa, you type in this search box. Scroll down until you see the map that you're looking for and then you click on it. Down at the bottom it tells you what you're able to do with this map. You can get a PDF, you can email it to yourself or someone else, or you can get the map. Our School license allows us to be able to put these into projects, documents, reports. Because our district has paid a licensing fee for this, so we don't have to worry about the copyright. There are maps on just about anything that you can imagine, so do make sure that you take advantage of this site. Someone told me that there is an app in the library for database for my pretty pink phone. Can you show me? Well, let me see that pretty pink phone. You can find apps for your smartphone by going to the bookmarks page and scrolling down until you see these QR codes. 
You'll need an app like Enigma to read the apps. If you read this one, it will take you to the World Book Encyclopedia mobile version. If you need passwords, they're located right here above on this same page. This QR code will take you to the place where you can download the Gale Databases app. So you will have access to the World Book Mobile and Gale Databases on your smartphone. Thanks, Parky. No Gee, problem. you're swell. Oh. <laughs> Parker, I heard you're selling school supplies in the library. Can you sell me something? I can sell you my love. <laughs> and Parker, we have something for you for helping us out. You have been such a wonderful actor and been so, just such a good sport to go along with all this. So we have something for you today. This is your very that. first Oscar. <laughs> All right. Trying to make a speech. Absolutely. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my family and the two wonderful librarians here, Ms. Dornbeck and Ms. Hall. You're welcome. And this is my first Oscar, one of one of many to come. That's what you know, we're thinking. That's, that's what we're thinking. I don't know. Yeah, I think so.